in this video, we're going to go through the 10 best things to do while in Toronto. We'll start off with the most obvious one, the CN Tower. This is Toronto's most popular landmark and it can be seen from nearly anywhere. Take the elevator up to enjoy the great views of the city and also check out the glass floor which is 342 meters above the ground. There's also a restaurant at the top and if you dare you can try the edge walk where you stand on the outside of the CN Tower 356 meters up with the harness. There's also some great spots around Toronto where you can view the CN Tower which you can find in another video link. Right beside the CN Tower is the rec room, but there's also a location in Mississauga. This is a big arcade that has a bunch of games you can play. There's axe throwing, a VR room, and also a bunch of racing games on top of the arcade game. If you get enough points, you can go collect the prizes at the end. There's also a restaurant and bar area if you get hungry or want to grab drinks. The next spot is the Scarborough Bluff, which were formed 12,000 years ago. You can view them from above and have a nice view of the lake, or from below to see the bluffs from Bluffers Park Beach, which is my favorite beach in the city. There's also a few hikes you can do in that area. Next is City Hall, which is where the big Toronto sign is. You can get some really great photos with the Toronto sign and also the cool looking buildings of City Hall. There are also some events that happen sometimes at Nathan Phillips Square, and it's also cool in the winter where you can skate there. Eden Center Mall is nearby, which is Toronto's main downtown mall. And on the other side of the mall is Young Dundas Square. Nearby is Harbour Front. This area is really nice in the summer when there are a lot of people there chilling and walking around. It's the area right beside the lake and it offers great views of the CN Tower as well. There's a bunch of stores, food trucks, and pop-up shops usually open there. Distillery District is the next spot. This area was once home to the largest distillery in the British Empire. This is a pedestrian only area in downtown Toronto and it has a bunch of cool shops. In the winter this area becomes a huge Christmas market with a giant Christmas tree and a bunch of Instagrammable spots and Christmas stores all around. Just west of Toronto is Humber Bay Shores. This area is a really cool spot to chill and look out onto the lake. It has a nice green little area with a great view of the Toronto skyline. There's also a bunch of restaurants and cafes in the area as well as a few beaches and trails. Toronto Island is another cool spot worth checking out. You take a ferry from harbour front and on the island you have some nice beaches and pathways to walk around. There's also an amusement park and a bunch of restaurants and cafes that are worth checking out. Next, we have St. Lawrence Market. This giant market in downtown Toronto is home to a bunch of food from a bunch of different cultures. You can have fresh produce, fish, cheese, and much more. There are over 120 food vendors you can choose from and has been open since 1803. The next spot is Yorkville. This area is home to many cool restaurants and bars and also has a lot of bougie stores. This area also has really cool decorations in the winter time and Christmas. Nearby is the ROM, which has a bunch of cool exhibits that are worth checking out. The main exhibit changes every once in a while, but there are a lot of artifacts that stay in the museum year round. That's all 10 spots. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so, so that I can keep making videos like this. Here are some bonus spots for those of you who've made it this far. Stack Market is a really cool industrial market home to many pop-up shops. Toronto's nightlife is really great with a bunch of cool clubs and bars all around the city. The Steam Whistle Brewery is a really cool spot near the CN Tower for beer lovers. Toronto also has a bunch of cool pizza places around the city. Riverdale Park has a great view of the CN Tower and it also has a farm. And escape rooms are fun activities to do in this city. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment your favorite spots in Toronto for other people to check out any that I may have missed. And please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.